<coughs> okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. If you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a pre-fight show for um, UFC Fight Night, uh, Swanson vs. Ortega. I've been looking forward to this card for quite a while um, because, you know, being a local uh, Coachella Valley resident, um, and so is Cub, uh, the guy in the main event, um, you know, you got to root for the hometown boy in this. And... Um, but I like Brian Ortega, you know, he's talented in his jiu-jitsu for sure, and his striking's definitely gotten better. Uh, and yeah, this is a stacked card as far as I'm concerned. This, this card is basically, for definitely for the diehards and possibly for the casuals as well. Um, so yeah, as a pre-fight rundown of the main card and let's get started. So the main event is a flyweight uh, clash, I mean a featherweight clash with um, Cub Swanson and Brian Ortega. Uh, going into this fight, Cub's ranked number four and Ortega's ranked number six. And I'm picking Cub Swanson, second round knockout. I think Brian Ortega is going to try to go for some takedowns early on, but Cub Swanson in the first couple rounds will be pretty fresh. And um, is going to be able to stuff these takedowns, or at least if he gets taken down, hold his own on the ground. And then... Um, uh, you know, Cub will defend his guard if he gets taken down and rough up uh, Brian Ortega and then wear him out a little bit. And then, yeah, I think round two, uh, Swanson just outboxes Brian Ortega and Brian Ortega is really trying to uh, find his rhythm and try to work those takedowns and those takedowns just may not be there. And uh, yeah, so I'm picking Cub Swanson, um, second round knockout. I think Cub Swanson's boxing is uh, leaps and bounds better, and um, it'll show in this fight. And it's going to be a fun fight for the fans, casual or diehard, uh, just no matter what. Then in the co-main event, we have another featherweight clash with uh, Jason Knight versus uh, Gabriel Benitez. Gabriel Benitez, he comes from uh, the Ultimate Fighter Latin America Season 1. He was on Team Velasquez. Jason Knight, uh, prospect at featherweights, a young guy, talented. Uh, love you, bro. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm picking uh, Jason Knight by submission uh, round two. I think Jason Knight um, does this thing with his striking, but I think... Uh, Eventually, he goes for the takedown, and he gets it, and then he uses his great submission skills to get a, a submission in the second round. But I think uh, Gabriel Benitez holds his own in the first round, but Jason Knight still wins that first round, 10-9, and then gets a submission in the second round. So, yeah, um, yeah that's, that's yeah, th this this fight, though, is a good fight, because Gabriel Benitez was, is really talented. He looked good on season one of Ultimate Fighter um, Latin America. And, you know, Team Vlaskas just uh, steamrolled through uh, Team Verdum on that show. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a fun season for sure. And then uh, in the uh, Bantamweight division, we have uh, Marlon Moraes versus Aljamain Sterling. I'm picking Sterling by decision on this one. I think this this fight goes back and forth, and this goes a uh, close, hard-fought decision. Marlon Moraes, he just could go for days. But Al Jermaine Sterling, you know, he's going to go for that finish, and it's going to be hard to finish a guy like Marlon Moraes, who's been a champion in the World Series of Fighting. Um, you know, he's had some, uh, you know, he, he's, he had that win off uh, John Dodson, I believe it was. And... Um, yeah, it was just, uh, I, I mean, you know, the the Dodson fight was uh, pretty close. And Marlon Reyes is just, he, 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 he he's really good at, at his footwork and confusing his opponents. But I think Al Jermaine Sterling will uh, look to grapple with him and then maybe land some takedowns. And then in the grappling, Marlon Reyes can hold his own and not get submitted, and so Al Jermaine Sterling will just be, you know, looking for the submissions, and then, but getting the dominant position, and then thus,
because he's getting those dominant positions, will win a decision, but probably not by submission. So I'm picking, yeah, Aljamain Sterling by unanimous decision. And uh, it'll be a fun fight for the fans for sure. Uh, definitely two top uh, Bantamweights and, you know, you know, prospects and guys that could be fighting for the belt in, in the next year uh, for sure. Then in the lightweight division, we have Scott, Scott Holtzman versus uh, Daryl Horcher. And this one I'm picking uh, Scott Holtzman by unanimous decision. Uh, the guy's really good at mixing things up. And um, I think this stays standing and Scott Holtzman just uh, land more, more jabs and uh, pretty much edges out a decision win in this one. Then uh, in the middleweight division, we have... Eric Anders versus uh, Marcus Perez. I'm picking um, Anders first round knockout. I think he has heavy hands and he can get it done. Uh, pretty, re yeah, pretty fairly quick. Uh, I, I say mid to late uh, round one, he gets a knockout. Then to kick off the main card in the Bantamweight division, we have... Um, Albert Morales versus Benito Lopez, and I'm picking Albert Morales by first round knock. Yeah, no, second round. Yeah, second round submission. Um, I think his jujitsu skills get it done here, and um, yeah, he's he's just he's talented, and um, yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see where Al Albert Morales goes after this fight. So many wins. Uh, and oh yeah, honorable mention on the prelims. We have in a uh, flyweight women's flyweight division. We have Alexis Davis versus Liz Carmouche. That one's going to be exciting. Both um, dropping down to flyweight. So yeah, there you have it. That's my um, pre-fight for UFC Fight Night Swanson versus Ortega. And stay tuned in the coming days for my post-fight. And until then, see ya.